Alright. Hello, everyone. Sid, Joseph, Silent, hello, welcome. Like we'll have to operate. Imagine you lose the first fight of the stream. That would act. That would have been tragic. It was averted though. So we're good on that front, Sid. People will just be trash and get hit enough times to die. You have to realize so that not every account in the game is going to actually have three powerful defenders with level 15 optimal sets on them. I know over on Rush LP, I've just been slapping my three highest power characters that I have that are able to be run on the prize fight onto defense. It's kind of just how the game is. Next! 
showtime! Slow it down! Only two! Good job! Stream up. I saw you a bit of talk about next time. It'll take some do? time for sure. Yep. Right, so who's better between Weekend and Wolfsane? Uh, Weekend Warrior is like good for. You can build him like Critless and take on Pain Wheels and Rift with him. Wolfsane hits harder. They both have their place for sure. Lorea, hello, welcome. But yes, let's actually. Let's talk about 5.3 for a bit. What we know, and perhaps also theorize about what the Black Dahlia prize fight modifiers are going to be for gold and for diamond. I mean, silver exists, but how many of us are actually going to be grinding that? Let's be realistic. Alright, so first of all, what we know about 5.3 from, like, both information from the last update and what has recently come out on Twitter over the past couple of days is that the Veiled Premier Relics are being retired. Now, Key, thank you for the two. I love your videos. Let me get you up here. All right. All right, back to business. So, we know that Veils are being retired. We know that Black Dahlia and Deathwish are coming into the basic pool, which is why I have my 
Relic Sash is also good. Let's go. We know the Death Wish and Black Dolly are coming into the basic. And we know that there's going to be a Black Dolly prize fight in 5.3. Now what we don't know, what are the mods on the prize fight going to be? We also don't know if Unholy Host is getting nerfed. Oh, Bina! Hello, welcome! I know you're asking patch notes for old 5.3 update, and normally self side posts that during maintenance time. So it's like writing patch for the sixth time. Yeah. I feel like I was actually being a bit, a bit like impatient over on Twitter, Amina. And I'm gonna admit it. Which, like, Dahlia would I like? Uh, I mean, if Unholy Host does not actually get touched at all, I would definitely want Unholy Host. Uh, Psy Commander and Unfazed, I would like to actually get a hold of those. And then really just, like, getting a bunch of Black Dahlia material to actually diamond some of those above listed golds. Unknown human, hello, welcome. The saying is rags to riches. Sid's correct on that one. I mean, Deadeye could work. It could also make things rather easy. The worst case scenario TBH is if they bring in the close distance to mod from Black Dahlia's Master Daily Treasure Node. That would actually be quite the annoying Diamond PF for sure. Fluffy Waffle, hello, welcome. Hope Psy Commander comes to the Black Dolly Price fight. 
I mean, I- none of- you can't go wrong with any of the gold black dahlias. Because, like, Marshall's a good support. Unfazed is probably the best Miasma variant in the game. And then Psy Commander is an incredibly hard hitter. So you can't go wrong with any of them being the prize fight gold. Egrets, get ready. Philia! Let's go, Samson! Hell yeah! Target confirmed. Showtime! Oh, ah! Or kind of umbrella PF reward though, I don't think another fire element gold again for Black Dolly is his reward. I forgot to mention Corrosive Agent, yeah. Corrosive Agent would also you can't go wrong with her either. Yeah, this seems... yeah, this seems fine. Yeah, I go by he, him, human. Let's dance, darling. Squiggly! Ready? Tally-ho! Well 
Valentine. Time to operate. You're not stopping us. My favorite character, Shogun. Big Band. Unfortunately, he's not very good. Meant to do that. You should lie down. Hold together. You should lie down. What's the combination of both block and disable blockbusters work best again? Um, well, the heal block part, that would actually be mainly for healers, of course. Disable blockbusters, it's less so that it's an important utility, and more so that it's just really nice to have most of the time. I did not mean to tag him now. Yeah, that, that's a big ol' ripperoni. Blossom Relics, Fighters for the there, I haven't changed yet, 453, I do have them from last year's April Monthly UTF Awards.
this time. Now. Skeletons in her closet. J-Dog, hello, welcome. Parasol's uh, best bronze to diamond character with so much utility. Coming. It is most likely coming next week. Unless, of course, the patch notes just drop today. Gameplay, do you need to pay you for character requests? They don't need to pay me, but it's like early streets. It's early streets. I. I'd be more interested in like taking character requests once I build my street map.
Showtime. Showtime. Is UV desirable for PFs? Uh, UV is... She's... Okay? She's alright. She's not great. Because piercing exists. And there are just better answers to armor in 2023. Like, for example, all Flak Dahlia's kit. Bro, out of bread. Hello, welcome. Face. Hello, welcome. Only well, have me one, but she's not even diamond. Me one's way better than UV in today's game. For what you are about to face. Showtime! Stop it! <laughs> 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 
Step of Ra, and offering the Renina test. I could go for a dip right about now. Do I always do 30% or 10%? What do you mean by that, Naoki? Alright, also, Sid, do you remember what the name of those jars is? I'll give you a little bit for that one. Oh, you're talking about rewards? Okay. Um, when the event PF is on and I haven't done the rewards, I'll grind to like 30. I usually grind up to 30% on the diamond prize fight. I'll occasionally grind to 10% on the diamond prize fight if I have like nothing better to do. Okay, can't remember the name. It is a canopic jar. What character I, do I dislike? I don't really hate any of the characters. Best marquee for Time Thief? Let me look at my own Time Thief and see what I gave her. You've made me curious. Yeah, I gave her poop. So, the thing with, like, Time Thief is that she has a recovery mode. Which is that you go into Headless. And then you call your head back to you and you recover all damage you took while in Headless. And in theory, you could actually just constantly burst heal all the way up to full. And with that, it's like, you don't really need mum. Instead, I actually go boop because Time Thieves' biggest weakness is her damage output. She's got lower attack than some of these other her misfortunes.
Valentine! Time to operate. Eliza! Let's dance, darling. Peacock! Finally! Crazy how we have an Amy Rose variant, but not a Sonic variant. We don't have a Tails or Eggman variant either, for that matter. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bo, hello, welcome. Question. So I'm pretty much in late game monogram with my bronze as well go and eventually turn into silver, so now I'm onto my silvers, but I don't know. One, should I just focus on my stronger characters in the golden diamond region or should I continue running for my silvers? Hmm. Well that depends on like that depends on, like, if you're trying to diamond stuff, or if you're actually trying to, like, raise up these silvers to use in content. Robert, hello, welcome. I am doing just fine. Hey! <laughs> 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 
That's perfect. Send to hello, welcome. to counter a shuffet? Well, you can hex her, obviously. You can... also... use thorns. The idea there is that... if you have thorns up, 
and you kill Shuffle, and she gets her little time stomp off. She will hit into you after during her time stomp, and then kill herself with her black. And then, of course, there's also precision killing the shop bit. Will prevent the time stop from ever happening. Basically, if I'm trash, for example, I haven't received my phone. Yeah. That's actually... That's one example. Star Shrine's not the only precision answer. Like, X-Bot, Headhunter are faster. Splitting image offensively can work as well. Fuzzy, thank you for the five. I've arrived at work. How goes the prize fight? Well, I'm up above top 30% right now, Fuzzy. And things have gone fairly smoothly so far through the first hour. Let me just get you up top. Alright, so by the way, hey Fuzzy, as like an extra thank you for like all of the support you have given me, I have officially modded you in my chat. You're my first mod.
Parasol! Egrets, get ready. Umbrella! Took you long enough to pick me. Valentine! Time to operate. I greatly appreciate the opportunity. I thank you. You're welcome, Fuzzy. Do I have the right to Have I ever spent money on my main account? I have never spent a cent on my main account. Showtime. Nor on Rash LP either. the best way to save my resources well it's to actually like find well first of all you'd have to have something you'd want to save for like you'd want to take a deep look into your box and you say okay what do I what is a character that you like really want to invest into in the future? And then you start saving. I got a request. Oh, uh, what was the request, Sid? Target confirmed. Why, Sid? I know that, Fuzzy. I want to know why. So think of finding how much you're going to need to persevere and start saving for that? Yeah. It's for their friend? Privia. What is the meaning behind that? Like, seriously. Here we come! 
check the pain wall before we pick our third team member here. Oh, you're not murkied. I can just, Big I can man. just put a burner on. on the beat. I already said it, hard cat. How am I so good? Uh, just a lot of practice, Senpai, to be perfectly honest. And the combos are... The combos are like the easier part. The harder part is learning the matchups. How did I have so many... Golden relics? Well, in short, it was a lot of grinding, Robert, because it's like, okay. Character PFs, top 30% diamond PF is 500 gold shards. The diamond four and rift every week, that's like 300, I believe that was 390. I'm going to have to look. I believe it was like 390 gold shards and rewards here. Yeah, 390. 390 gold shards for Diamond 4. Her and Rift every week. And then there's also 500 shards in every elemental PF every week. What are some of the most advanced combos you have learned? Um... Some of the big band stuff? A lot of my most advanced combos are like in my combo playlist that I have on my channel or in the community competitive PvP TOD playlist that I also host here on the channel.
You're gonna actually start rifts way earlier than level 70. I've been doing... I've been doing like five wins or so in rift a week over on Crash LP. And even like the silver and gold rewards are actually helpful to build up an account. Hit D4 once and life got a bit busy, slowly getting resituated. Hope you reach one mil soon. I am a long ways away from one million subscribers, senpai. I do not have a character I don't like, Robert. Three zero damages in a row. They're ready. Uh -huh. Showtime. Do I have a variant that I'm annoying? Well, of course there are variants that are annoying. And Holy Ghost is annoying. Bitter and Death Wishes are annoying. Because you can't, like, just precision kill them. You have to wipe the final sin and then precision kill them.
I have never been... I've never top 10 a character PF. That is correct, Robert. I have top 10... I top 10 the... I top 10 show me your moves as revamp. The initial running. The running of the PF that had like old silvers in the in the defense teams because HVS forgot to run a defense wipe for the revamp until like the second until like the second running of that prize fight. How do you even counter on Holy Host? Okay, so obviously like, the easiest counter is, like, mirror matching a defensive Unholy Host with an offensive one. However, not everybody's going to have that, and that situation might change depending on if Unholy Host gets touched in the next patch. Assuming that she does not get touched, the other, like, best options that people have found are, like, really hard-hitting, bursty, non- Really hard-hitting, bursty lights. And then, like, chaos. And that's, like, about it. <laughs> because, like, not a ton of other, like, heal blockers are... Are actually able to heal block either without a signature ability or a lengthy period of time. And like, there's like no inverse users that are doing that without a signature ability. Rotation Hazard can, like, transfer Devo's Vector. I mean, it's like... Who's actually gonna be using Terror Bite? Who's actually gonna be using Terror Bite against Unholy, though? Because... The thing with, like, Terror Bite is that if you transfer the debuffs off of yourself to Unholy to stop her healing then the inverse is kind of useless until her marquee activates, and then the inverse is, like, less useful? And then it's like, the rotation has to pretty much has to be level 15 to be reliable, because it's a random chance to transfer. That's another thing- that's another obstacle, I suppose. And then the other thing, too, is that, like, bursty lights that are hitting her hard and not critting very much are actually just a more reliable option and faster.
He's just gonna do an easier neurocycle since I just keep missing the doing the BB2. And for some reason I'm gonna do an easier one. Well, yeah, it's just fun when you have her, but it isn't when you don't. You have trouble with Assassin's Creed, Senpai? Like, I'd have to assume... Whom that's the case. Alright, uh, take care, Fuzzy. When would you say I should start worrying about my moves? So... I think... I think like after you get like all of your characters in order... Like you've started establishing like what your box is, like what's in- what's good in your box, then you start worry about- worry about building them.
Curiosity can't kill me. Showtime! <laughs> Back when I first started, I wasn't really into playing the game like I am now. That's why I've kind of been figure, struggling to figure everything out. Why I've been asking questions today because one, you're now two and in, and it seems you're going to continue it later. Oh, you had finished what you were going to say with two? Showtime! Oh, okay, I see. Imagine if for whatever reason they just remove the ability to infinite air juggle with fortunes. I think they already did tone that. I think a few, like way back in the day, they did tone it down a bit, Sid. It used to be infinite. Now it's like. I think it's reliably like three. You can juggle reset like three times and then you have to actually go into a different thing than just the juggle resets Do I have max prestige on me? Hold on, I've got a pet. 
Is anyone who keeping up a 5 or 3 update or score will not say anything yet? So over on Twitter, they've posted like two things in the last two days. They posted the announcement that the Veiled Premiers are getting retired in the 5.3. And then they posted on Twitter yesterday saying that 5.3 is going to be Black Dahlia's full release. All of that information had for the most part been like already known to the entire player base as to what was going to happen. As far as I am aware, they have not given out new information. In fact, I'm looking on Twitter right now. Yeah, no, they have not actually put out a new tweet while we've been live. You're welcome, Brad. Bring it on! Showtime! I won't. Don't get caught. Oh, damn, cry. Napalm killer! Oh my goodness.
Liza. Let's dance, darling. Big Bam. Back on the beat. Pain wheel. <laughs> Did you hear a Black Lolly SPF is coming in five three? Yep, that is correct, Daddy. Which of the Black Dahlias is my favorite? Okay, I'm mainly gonna pull up palettes here for this one. Because it's like, from a meta perspective, the answer to which one is the most desirable is just way too obvious to everybody here in chat. Now, personally, I do like Furmonger. Here's his palette a lot. Unfazed. Corrosive. Uh. Uh, I think like Unfazed and Psychomander are like number two and number three.
army. Butchery! Cerebella! Give up! Hello Sky, how's it going? This UFA yeah. comes will also be the PP of Black Dolly or still not? The new update will have the Black Dolly prize fight get added to it. Well, well, well. I've actually found an occasion to pull out UV. Sorry, streak notification in game chat. Oh, that's cool. Is this another grudge pain wheel? Yes! I can keep using UV!
double fortune. Beep boop meow. Annie, umbrella. What? Can't you want me to pick me? Islands to catch suspected. Defenses online. Showtime. Do you guys know what guilds are going to be used for? Well, it's at the bare minimum, it's going to be a social feature because that's what a guild literally is. Aside from that, it's all speculation right now. Also, yep, it's a big ripperoni. Here's my U visa set, if you were wondering. It's like my it's my highest invested peacock set that I have. And I mainly use it on mean one for the most part. Buy streak? No. I'm good for now, Sky. I feel like we don't- I don't really have any relics I want to open for end of stream, because I mean, it's like, there's a- I guess there's this bronze relic. I've not been hoarding those, but yeah, it's like, it's a bronze relic. So I think, to end stream, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to set something up here on my browser real quick. Grab the gallery. Yeah, gallery works just fine. We're gonna put it on crown and filter to Black Dahlia. What we're going to do for the end of stream is that I'm going to actually shift over my thing here real quick and we're going to take a look at Unholy Host and see what kind of ideas we can actually have for nerfing her down. Like, what what would actually be make people happy with her in, like, a more balanced state to be either offensive or defensive? Because, as she currently is right now, I say one, when either side tags in, wipes all enemy buffs, and inflicts Curse and Hex for 20 seconds, and then drain 2% health per second from the opponent if they have any debuff. Not just these two, any debuff. So personally, So, like, one way they could nerf her that I've, like, thought about is, like, they make her just a defender by changing these 
tag in debuffs from Curse and Hex to, like, disable Blockbusters and Cripple. Or disable Blockbusters and disable special moves. Because if they change the debuffs, she'll have less offensive utility, since there's, like, less demand for a character that can, like, disable blockbusters and disable special moves offensively. Than there is for, like, Curse and Hacks. And then one other change to go with that would actually be to actually just heal 2% health per second passively instead of draining HP. If she, like, just healed rather than, like, draining, she'd be much more of a defender and she'd be less desirable offensively. Because she's just healing herself. She's not doing damage over time. Please don't nerf her, she's carrying me so hard right now. No make it so the buff wipe only happens when she tags in. Just a roost debuff timer. Well the thing with like reducing the debuff timer is that Similar kinds of nerfs have been effective in the past, but also have been, like, rather ineffective. I know Frost Armor's had its timer reduced before, and that didn't actually need to take it down enough to, for it to, like, not be relevant to the Rift meta to this very day. It's like, if you just cut the debuff in half, Sure, it's there for, like, half as much time. But 10 seconds is still a fairly long time. And 10 seconds, that's still, like, 20% DPS for free, just from tagging in. Or swap Hex for another D.Va. That was- that's what I was, like, like, talking about in terms of, like, modeling her as just a defender, Sky. Was that you switch out Curse and Hex for, like, disable blockbusters and disable special moves. Or, like, disable blockbusters and cripple. Or disable blockbusters and heal block, or just, like, something. Or, heck, even just, like, Curse and disable blockbusters instead of Curse and Hex. Although it's like I I would I do want to cut both curse and hex if I want to make her just a defender, because curse and hex gives her offensive value. The main problem design wise with unholy host is that she's just too good both offensively and defensively. In my opinion, I like more Soul Crusher. <laughs> well, I mean, Soul Crusher is just way better designed. Dead Eye Guard Break. Yeah, she's just way better. She's just designed in a much more healthy way yeah, than Unholy Host is. Significantly better. Mm -hmm. Keep the curse, remove the hex. So Dahlia might get a nerf. The player base has been outcrying against Unholy Host, Bread. Like, Unholy Host has actually caused a whole lot of trouble for the game. Like, this is like the first time in the in the history of SGM that people have actually said that there is definitively a outright best character in the game. She's just that broken.
keep the cursor remove the hex. Disable block push, disable tagging. Uh, disable tagins might not be impactful enough, Sid. Please do not nerf Unholy Host. You also have to keep in mind, I do, I'm not associated with HPS. I myself do not have any power to actually change Unholy Host. We'd have to see what they're going to do with her when the patch notes drop. Unholy no can't even counter Unholy. Actually, Sky, Unholy can counter Unholy. Because player applied debuffs are always applied first before the opponent's debuffs. If two of the same ability activates at the same time on Tagin. So when the player, so basically if the opponent has their unholy host, you tag in with your unholy host, they get buff wiped, cursed, and hexed, and they do nothing to you. Which makes offensive unholy host the best offensive counter to defensive unholy host, which is just not very healthy design at all. I don't know, but yeah. As for, like, uh, nerfing her into just being an attacker... I think it's actually quite simple. For, like, nerfing her down as, like, an... Well, it's like, should she be nerfed down as an attacker? Would that actually be correct? To nerf her as an attacker and make her only an attacker? Or to nerf her into being only a defender like what I've been talking about so far. Maybe it was a bug on my end. We both got cursed and hexed at the same time. Wish I had a recorder. You know fit. I think that's probably... It's probably a bug. Because, like, other people have done, like, testing of this kind of... Of, like, tag-in interaction... And the player side always goes first. Or maybe you were testing in, like, FFA, which is, like, janky, just because, like, both sides are players instead of, like, a player versus a defender, like is the case in, like, most of the content in the game. But yeah, I think, I think that's going to do it, everyone. I'd like to thank you all very much for stopping by. And until next time. All right, take care.